Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. So in this video, we continue on chapter 2 operating system services. Okay. The, the previous video, we already discussed about the overview and the introduction of the operating system. So in chapter 2, we discuss more about the operating system services. So basically, in the first part of this video, uh, we'll talk about the services. Okay, in this chapter 2, we will learn about the operating system services, the services that provided by the operating system. Second, we learn about the uh, operating system interface, the UI, user interface. And then we go through the system call, system services, and then the operating system design and implementation, as well as the operating system structure. So for the first part of this uh, chapter, we call, uh, we focus we focusing on the operating system services. Okay, operating system provide the environment to the program as well as to the user. Uh, it's look like uh, it's just like the development. Uh, if we have the IDE, the the development as, uh, environment. We use the ID in order to do the coding part as well as to to compile our code in order to create a program. So operating system is environment for the user, human, us, that in order to use the computer system as well as the program that we develop or the other developer develop or software that run in the operating system. So one set of operating system services provides function that are helpful to the user, to, the, to us. Okay. Uh, the first part is about the user interface. So it provides the services in terms of the user interface. Okay. Almost all the operating system have the user interface, either graphical user interface or common line interface. Or touch screen or bash for the 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 familiar the familiar part is the common line and the graphical user interface. So that are the user interface services provided by the operating system. Okay, next we have the program execution. So the system must be able to load a program into the memory and run that program, uh, which execute until the end. Either it can be smoothly run inside the OS or sometimes it may have the error. So program execution. Let's say we have a telegram as a program. So we run inside our operating system. Sometimes it can run smoothly but in certain certain condition it may have some error. Okay. The next part is about the interface uh input and output operation so a running program may require in the uh, input and output interface uh, example let's say we want to do the printing part the process of execution is printing so we need to have the input and output in order to print the the process okay it also have involved the file and then we have the file system manipulation. So the file system is uh, of particular interest. Program need to read, write, and directories, as well as to create and delete them. Okay. We have file system. In the previous video under chapter one, we already learned about the overview of the resource management, the process management, and one of that but it's the file management. So OS also provide the services in order uh, to write, to read, to search, to list them, that everything you can do through your uh, operating system like your Windows, File Explorer, something like that. As well as the uh, restriction of file permission, allow you or not allow you uh, under the uh, protection, something like that. Okay. Next part is about the communication. So processes may exchange information on the same computer or between computer over the network. Okay, it's allow you to communicate. Uh, 
one of at the example of the communication maybe you can do the remote login from one pc to another pc so it's allow you communicate in in terms of the communication we can define as the process of exchange the information between one uh, device to another device in terms of the computer network and then we have the error detection so os needs to be constantly aware of the possible of errors so the error may occur in the cpu in the hardware or in the user program which is referred to the software or application so each type of error os should take the appropriate action to ensure correct and consistent computing and debugging facility to give the uh, service to the user and uh, and the developer to have the efficiently use to the uh, to the system so the OS also provide the error detection and somehow uh, it's allow you uh, using your operating system let's say window you can click you can press on the button shift alternate and delete go to the task manager and it's allow you to terminate certain certain program if there is some error occur so the next part is about the another set of os functions uh, in order to ensure the efficiency of operation of the computing system so the part uh, we have a resource allocation we learn about the resource management so we have the resource allocation so in os we may have multiple users or multiple program that running concurrently in simultaneously so the os must have the allocation resources management uh, resource allocation management to provide for each uh, users or each program that run inside the operating system so the resource allocation may be may include the memory the storage the input output devices as well as the cpu cycles okay the next part we have the logging and accounting okay this part in order to keep track on which user use how much and what kind of computer resources okay in order to do the resource allocation it can be identified by the logging and the account of the user okay the previous video the previous in chapter one we already learned about the user id username inside the os operating system okay so it also have the logging and accounting so based on this point uh, this part is exists in order to keep track and then we also have the protection and security the restriction uh, let's say we have one this file is belong to user a this file is belong to user b so user b is not allowed to open or to read a file uh, belong to user a and so on so protection involves ensuring that all access system resource is in control and the security of the system from the outsider require user authentication login and authentication part so that are the services so this one is the overview of the operating system service okay we have a pc or desktop or server okay that is referred to the hardware or your mobile phone okay is the hardware so inside the hardware we have the operating system and user or system program interact with the uh, hardware through the operating system so inside the operating system we have services that we already discussed means the program execution the input output the file system the communication part okay, resource allocation accounting logging okay error detection and protection and then we have the system call and then user interact with this part based on the user interface the so next part we will discuss about the user interface so at 
uh, at this uh, point you should know the services okay these are the services that provided by the operating system for the user as well as the program or application that run in in the uh, operating system itself so that's all thank you and assalamualaikum